Yeah, I just, you know, I want to say, you know, first of all, I'm proud of him of our guys for accomplishing something that has never been done in the history of Nebraska basketball, getting into the semifinals of this Big Ten tournament. And, uh, you know, I like where we are heading into this week, heading into tomorrow, where we will find out our fate. As I told the guys in the locker room after, you know, one thing that still, um, you know, it was such a pit in my stomach last year at this time, a couple days earlier when we lost, because I just had a feeling we wouldn't be able to play again and I wouldn't be able to coach that group. And I loved that group that we had a year ago. It was such a fun group to coach. You know, the blessing we have is we're going to be playing next week. And whether that's Thursday or Friday, we're going to have the opportunity to continue to compete and uh, hopefully make a little run right here and continue to do things that have never been done with this program. I thought fatigue set in for us a little bit. And that's, you know, we got home to the, back to the hotel midnight last night and had to bounce back and play uh, basically a 2.30 game this afternoon. That's hard. And, and I thought not only physically did we hit some fatigue, but I thought mentally. And we just didn't finish uh, the way that we had that had uh, ending the season win an eight out of nine. And, you know, our possessions weren't what we needed to have. And, you know, defensively, they were beating us to loose balls. But, again, I, I, I blame some of that on fatigue. Uh, give Illinois credit. They, they played unbelievable, um, you know, the last 17, 18 minutes of that game. And uh, it's an incredibly hard team to guard, uh, you know, especially when your guys are in foul trouble. When Juwan, uh, you know, picked up that fourth, that was, that was hard for us. He's one of the keys on that end of the floor. Rink picking up two. He was in a great rhythm on the offensive end. And Josiah picking up two. I give Matar a lot of credit for going out there and giving us great minutes. I give Jeff Grace credit for going out there and getting us a steal uh, late in the game. That's what it's all about at this time of year is to have guys step up when their name is called. So, you know, I'm proud of our guys. I'm, I'm, I like where we are. And, uh, you know, we'll know our fate tomorrow and, and learn from this one, uh, get back on the court on Monday. And uh, like I said, hopefully go out and make a little run. Questions for Sam and Rink. We'll start in the middle. Hey, Sam, Coach, you kind of talked about just the second half and fatigue, both physical and mental, maybe setting in a little bit from your vantage point. Did you kind of sense that a little bit, that the legs were getting tired and maybe the energy just wasn't where it needed to be? Uh, yeah, personally, it did set in pretty quickly. I think on that step back where I kind of had to take it late in the clock, I kind of felt my legs start, both of them start to cramp a little bit, but I took something that kind of took care of it for me. But I didn't play that much yesterday. Other guys played more than me, so I assume it was kind of the same way. We don't want to make any excuses for why we played bad. We could have been better. It wasn't just because of fatigue. Um, we just got to be better the next game. All the way on the far right front row. Hey, Rink, obviously you came out hot to start the game. Did it kind of mess with their rhythm with the foul troubles? It was hard to, to get it going a little bit after that, That's after um, sitting. Uh, yeah, looking back at it, like I, at the half, I was super cold. And then during, during halftime, you try and, try and get going again. But uh, yeah, the foul trouble definitely, definitely didn't help with uh, getting back in that rhythm that I had at the start. More questions for Sam and Rink. We'll go back to the middle front row. Sam, I guess going forward now, um, you know, there's a big opportunity that waits you guys next week. How, how quickly are you guys going to be able to turn the page on the sting of this loss and kind of look ahead at, at the opportunity that, that awaits you in the next few days? Yeah, I mean, we're going to do what we've done all season, and I think we've done a pretty good job bouncing back from losses, and we're going to learn from the what we did wrong and uh, see who we're going to be playing tomorrow and just start uh, prepping for them, but we're not going to do it any different than what we've been doing all year, and hopefully we can bounce back in the first round. Stay right in the front row. Yeah, Rank, uh, same question for you. Just, yes, today stung, but how meaningful could this next week be just with the opportunity that presents itself for you guys? Um, well, over these last two games, we've shown that we can, we can play with the best of them. Um, coming into this tournament, winning the last like six out of seven or whatever. Like we've shown that we're, we're a good team and this one stings. So I hope this one gives everybody a little bit of extra motivation to not lose anytime soon. Um, but we got to take it one game at a time. We'll hear, to, we'll hear tomorrow who we play and uh, start prepping for, for that and uh, put our best game forth for that game. Anything else for Sam or Rink? All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. Good luck in the tournament.
We'll continue with questions for Coach Hoiberg. If you have a question, we'll start right in the middle. Hey, Fred, uh, when did you know that CJ uh, was sick and wasn't going to be able to play today, and how did that affect things for you guys today? Yeah, CJ, he, he gave it a go in warm-ups, and he, he just he didn't feel good. He, he was throwing up after the game last night. <clears throat> that carried over. He didn't get much rest, and uh, unfortunately, he just wasn't able uh, to go. He was feeling pretty miserable. You could see it in his face, in his eyes. He didn't get any sleep last night. So wanted to play it smart. You know, he's uh, he's been awesome for us all year. It just, you know, obviously it's short in our rotation. And, again, that I think leads to the fatigue uh, that we had in that second half uh, when you take one of your main guys out uh, out of the lineup. But, you know, again, our guys stepped up, uh, you know, especially when we had the foul trouble. And, you know, again, Illinois gets a lot of credit for how this game ended. I mean, you look at uh, Terrence Shannon making five threes and getting to the free throw line 16 times. And, you know, they took advantage of some matchups uh, out there as well. Uh, but again, Sam hit it on the head. I mean, it's it's all about now going back to the film room and learning from this one and preparing for the next one. That's what we've done after every game. We'll have a cleanup uh, for our guys on Monday, and then we'll get on the floor. And depending if we play Thursday or Friday, uh, we'll go to our f uh, first look and work on some execution type things. Uh, to hopefully be better uh, the next time we're on the floor. But, you know, as I said to the guys after the game, I love how this team is playing right now. We can't let one game, um, you know, disrupt the good things that have happened with our program. And, you know, we got to get right and uh, have good prep, and I'm, I'm confident that we'll do that. We'll go in the middle, right-hand side. <clears throat> Fred, just in your mind, what was the shift in the second half? What did you, uh, what did you see as the turning point? Yeah, I, you know, we, we got that thing up to 15 right away. It was great, forced them into a timeout, and it just, you know, become a foul fest. You know, they got to the line on multiple occasions, and that just kind of takes the flow out of the game. You're taking the ball out of the net. I thought we were really good in transition in the first half when we rebounded the ball. But when you're taking the ball out of the net, whether it's after a free throw or after uh, an offensive rebound kick out, um, you know, it's hard to have that same type of rhythm and flow that we did offensively. I think we shot almost – uh, seventy percent in the first half, sixty percent. Hell, I don't know, but it was you know one of those things where we just had it flowing so well. And you know when you start taking the ball out of the net like we did, and that gives them rhythm and momentum and confidence, and they took advantage of it. We'll go back to the middle, <clears throat> then we'll go to you, Marcus. I guess you know you, t you mentioned after the game you talked to the guys about next week. I guess what's what's kind of the approach to turning the page as quickly as possible on this one and, and what types of lessons can you learn from this experience that you can apply to next week yeah it, 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 like 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 Sam said I mean we're going to do the exact same thing we've done all year we're going to learn from this one and then we're going to uh, start focusing on whoever our opponent will be and we'll know that tomorrow at um, probably 5 30 or 6 o'clock and then you know we'll, coaches will get in the film room and start working on a game plan and then we'll get the guys in there and present a first look to them and, uh, and, and start working that way. You know, we haven't played a back-to-back -back all year. We, our MTE this year uh, was different than last year where we had the experience of a back-to-back, -back, especially the late game and then the early game. That's hard. I mean, that is really, really hard, especially when you have one of your main guys out of the lineup. So, you know, again, I give our guys a lot of credit for the way they came out of the gate. We were phenomenal uh, for the first 25 minutes of that game. And then, unfortunately, we just weren't able to sustain it. But, uh, again, give Illinois credit. They had a lot to do with it. Third row, left, Marcus. Uh, Coach, um, I was wonder if you could talk about just being back in this arena, um, the, the time you spent with the Wolves. And I know recently uh, Kevin McHale came the senior night for you and supported the team. And um, I think he mentioned that, uh, you know, take a special someone or to, to beat you. Um, certainly was that with Terrence Shannon. Yeah, I, I love being back here. This, this, um, I had seven of the best years of my life in Minnesota. You know, certainly the two best uh, in, of my playing career, playing on that team back 0304, where, you know, Sam Costello were a healthy hip away from I think winning a world championship that year. And you know, I still have great memories. It's so much fun coming in this building, and uh, in reliving some of those. You know, we've still got a, a house on a lake up in northern Minnesota. So you know, we absolutely love it here so to be back uh you know our, our kids spent a lot of their lives everybody was here except for our son jack who's working for the spurs but you know it's great for the family to come back and relive some of those great memories my wife uh took our son charlie who's sam's twin on uh you know a little 
memory tour. They went out and saw her house and, you know, went to the Target where they used to get pizza when they were three years old, and she had to shut them up when they were complaining, you know, and just throwing stuff in the cart. So, you know, it was great to be back uh, here for that and uh, just a really special place with a lot of great memories. Anything else for Coach? Okay, we'll go all the way in the back. Last one. Hi, Coach. Uh, after KC scored 31 points in February against Illinois, Illinois did everything to not that happen again this time. Uh, what did they do differently, and how do you think KC played against that? Yeah, I mean, Terrence Shannon's one of the not only elite offensive players, but he's a great defensive player as well. Um, you know, KC missed a couple shots that uh, he's been making. And, you know, I think he had three or four open ones early, and he makes those. Maybe he does have another 25, 30 point game, but he didn't, you know. And, you know, some of that may have to do with his legs uh, after playing a lot of minutes last night and making some unbelievable plays for us with his whatever 24 point game uh, yesterday. So, you know, I think Casey's in a great place. He's playing with a lot of confidence right now. I thought he forced the issue a little bit late, um, you know, when we should have had better execution, but. You know, he's got the confidence to make those shots. I thought he had a couple one mores that uh, that were there as well. And again, we'll watch those and learn from it and uh, and hopefully have a, a better 40 minute stretch in the next one. We're going to need it. We're going to play a great team uh, next week and we're going to need everybody. But, uh, you know, they're, they're all on board. They're ready to go, ready to start preparing and uh, we'll get back to work on Monday. All right. Thank you, coach. Thank Good luck you. in the tournament.